What is up, everyone? We are back with a brand new video. We're back again. And today we are here with not a jersey video, but another basketball related video. Uh, so I was looking around on eBay like I was doing when I got all the most recent jerseys, like the Michael Jordan, the Roni Turioff. Uh, so the Michael Jordan Bulls, the Michael Jordan Space Jam, the Michael Jordan All-Star, and the Michael Jordan North Carolina, and the LeBron James Cavaliers. When I got all six of those, I also got this. Um, so those are the most recent things i really gotten. And I it just I somehow found it on eBay. I don't even know how. It just kind of, I think it just popped up. And it was like, since you looked at this, you may be interested in this. And it is part of the Utah Jazz's court. So... It is framed. It's part of the Utah Jazz court. It is signed by Nigel Williams Goss. Nigel Williams Goss, it, he played for the Jazz last year as a rookie. He actually got drafted in 2018 by the Jazz, um, even though he did not play that season. He didn't play till last season. So he was a rookie because that was his first year playing, first games ever. And he only played a couple games, uh, only averaged like two points maximum. I can't remember the exact number. I actually have his jersey right here to show you guys. Um, I got the yellow jersey. I have so many jazz jerseys, it's crazy. So this one, really cool. This is actually like what their Jordan jersey is this year. And then it's got Williams Goss on the back. So that's really cool. I'm glad I got that because he got waived during the off season. Uh, the small loss season. So I'm glad I got that because I wouldn't be able to get it anymore because they changed the customizing for jerseys. So you can't customize and put whoever you want on it anymore. You can only put players that are currently on the team, which I really hate, but maybe someday they'll change it back. I think the reason they did it is because people were making Jordan jerseys um, and they want you to buy the $300 Jordan jerseys and people were making uh, probably just other players like retired players and they didn't want them doing that. So that must have been why they did it. I'm glad I got that. And so this, like I said, is part of the Utah Jazz's court signed by Nigel Williams Goss. And then that Utah Jazz basketball thing, I think that just kind of got printed on afterwards. Um when they when they took that uh when they cut out the court, I think they just printed that on to make it look better. I don't think that was originally there. That kind of surprised me. But this is really, really cool. Um, and I'll take it out to show you guys. And there's only one of them. So that's what kind of makes me believe believe it to be more on the real side. The glass fell out. Hang on. Let me put that back in. Okay, here it is. Part of the court. Uh, there's the signature. Looks really cool. Um, it's that thin, it's really thin because they're just really little thin pieces and it's still sticky from like where they put it together. This side's not sticky because that isn't part of the part where they, I think they put the court together, like where it kind of connected. Um, and then it's got a number on the back. And as you can see, it's got like the arrow and stuff and it just looks like the bottom of a floor, like their court. So that's really cool. Really cool to have this. Um, because if you didn't know why this even means much to me, I'm a Gonzaga fan, and uh, he went to Gonzaga. He also played for Washington, and he helped lead us to the national championship where we lost to North Carolina just barely. Uh, but I wouldn't say that was his fault at all. That was more of – that was – was it the right direction? Yeah. That was more of Schmidt Karnowski's fault, I feel like, that we lost. But he was a really good player for us. Obviously, really good player. He went to the NBA. Uh, sadly, not on a team right now in the NBA, but he's playing overseas. I'm not sure where. Uh, he used to play in, like, Greece or Israel or something. But I don't know where he plays now. Here it is. 
one last look at it from this side. Um, and I actually have played on the Jazz court before. I've actually played a couple games on their court because one of the places that we would play AAU ball at in like seventh and eighth grade, when I was in seventh and eighth grade, we would actually play on the old Jazz court that, um, like the one that J John Stockton played on and Carl Malone, um, maybe like Pete Maravich. Really cool. The old court, John Stockton actually bought it from the Jazz and moved it to the facility that we played on it in, which was really, really cool. And I, I thought that was so cool. I was like, wow, players like Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon, uh, like all those players have played on this court. And I just thought it was super cool that I played on the same court as definitely John Stockton and Carl Malone, but probably even like Michael Jordan, Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon, um, Isaiah Thomas, maybe Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, maybe like young Shaq. Like that's really, really cool. And I find that so interesting. Um, and I definitely want to get this hung up, like maybe like right there. I think that would look really cool because it's in a frame that would uh, hang it up on the back. And then on the back, there's like a sticker. I don't know if you guys really care about this, but it just says like this product contains composite wood that complies with phase 412 uh, CAATCM 93120 for formulate. You can read it, I guess, if you want to. I don't think you really care. You can pause it because I'm not going to leave it up there forever because not everyone wants to see that. But really, really cool. Uh, I actually, when I got this jersey, I really, really wanted to get it. I don't even think I've ever said this before on the channel. Uh, I really wanted to get the Donovan Mitchell one that uh, with the orange stripes from yellow to yellow to orange to like the reddish color. I really wanted to get that one of a Nigel Williams Goss. But since Nigel Williams Goss was a bench player uh, or like like way down, like a reserve, not even like a bench player, like way down reserve player. They did not have his jersey in that one or the mountain jersey. The mountain jersey is the one I wanted most. And then I after that one, I really wanted the other one. They didn't have it. Uh, I almost got the blue one of this, but then I decided to get this yellow one, which I'm glad I did because there's a David Stockton jersey that I think I'm probably going to end up getting. That's still in the NBA store. And David Stockton, if you didn't know, he played in the NBA for the Jazz and the Kings. But that was like a while ago, like a good while ago. So um, glad I got this one because that's the only John or David Stockton they have is that blue one. So uh, that's not on camera. Okay, I'll just put it right here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for sticking around all the way to the end. I'll see you guys later. Peace.